Okay, so we have these two functions, f of x equals x squared minus eight, and g of x equals one fourth x plus five. And we have three expressions that we need to evaluate. So let's go ahead and start here. And let's make sure we understand the notation here. This says f of g of negative eight. This is function composition. And as we talked about in the previous video, we talked about how this means f of g of negative eight. So this is g of negative eight. And like always, I'm gonna do my scratch work over here to the side. All right, so g of negative eight means one fourth times negative eight plus five. So that's negative two plus five, which equals three. And now that we know that's three, we come back over here and we plug it in for f, right? So g of negative eight becomes three. So f is never gonna be evaluated for negative eight in this example. Negative eight goes into g, and now that value of three goes into f. So off to the side, we do f of three. So plug that in, that's three squared minus eight, so nine minus eight equals positive one. And then we're done. Just like that. All right, let's see about this next piece. This next part of the problem says to do, well, that seems weird, f of f of negative five. And so what this means is that you're going to do, you're gonna do this, f of f of negative five. So what negative five is going to do is negative five is gonna go into f and that's gonna give you an answer and then that answer is gonna go back into f, right? Sounds kind of weird and crazy, but let's see what happens. Again, we create room off here to the side. So f of negative five means negative five squared minus eight. So that's 25 minus eight, which equals 17. All right. So now we have f of 17. Okay, well now we need to figure out that off to the side. I guess I'm still using pink for this. So f of 17 equals 17 squared minus eight, because you're still plugging it back into f. So 17 squared is 289 minus eight is 281. So f of 17 is 281. I guess even better, what we're trying to say here is that f of f of negative five is 281. Um, it almost kind of connects to like these recursive definitions where you have to do something first to plug it back in, you do something here, you kind of plug it back in, and I, I could keep plugging that back into f, and it's gonna take a particular pattern. Um, but anyway, that's for something else. So let's do this last one here. We have g of f of six. All right, so let's see what does that mean. Well, that means to do g of f of six. And once we figure out f of six, then we can evaluate g. And a lot of your homework problems are gonna look like this. You know, you plug it into one piece, you take that answer, you plug it into the other one. So that's why we're running through all these different examples. All right, so f of six, still using the same f at the top of the page, means six squared minus eight. So 36 minus eight is equal to 28. And this becomes g of 28. And so now we can go off to the side and work out g of 28. All right, so g of 28 is going to be 1 fourth 28, and that's plus 5. So 1 fourth of 28 
is 7 plus 5 and we get 12 all right so g of 28 equals 12 so in each of these problems we're doing the same thing you just have to figure out which piece is going to be evaluated first right and once you do that then you take the answer and you plug it into the other function so here 6 goes into f first and then that answer goes into g in the previous example negative 5 goes into f that answer goes back into f right and that finishes the problem and the first problem you plug negative 8 into g and you take you took that answer and you plugged it into f right so hit the homework see what you can come up with and i bet you'll be able to get hundreds in no time at all